when you've completed your decorating you may want to put some shelves up or brackets um, you know pictures you're going to want to put some fixings in the wall you're going to have to drill into it now some may be self drilling but if you are drilling into it then there could be cables plumbing behind this plaster if you're just locating where the studs are just to fix something into it then you're going to need something that you can find where they are so just using one of these um, detectors pretty good this is quite an old one but generally they're pretty much the same and um, some have actually got a lit LED this hasn't so holding this on pressing the button it'll calibrate now I can just draw it across the wall so I've got various materials over this wall we're just going to run it over that's the edge of the stud there Somewhere about there as well and then further along here I've got a piece of copper copper piping that's pretty much a strong signal there so it's sitting in this vicinity now the next one is plastic pipe watering actually it's been a little bit elusive there so I'll just calibrate it a bit deeper okay so found plastic pipe and that one again like I say it's got water in it and then the next one is just the it's actually a dead cable so I'll just set that back So, cables there somewhere. And they're not too bad. Fairly accurate. But they can be a little bit sensitive to different things. So, because it wasn't quite picking up that water pipe, I set it a bit deeper. So then obviously, when I got further over here, it was this, this dead cable was upsetting it a bit more. When using something like this, to get an accurate reading, you do have to take your time with it. So that was a quick rush across the wall, just locating where there may be something behind. Now, actually, so that's calibrated now. Just draw it slowly across the wall, so you can see my original marks. Let's just see where we... Uh, what we get to with this so it's starting to pick something up so it's not going continuous beep so we need to just keep moving it slightly more so 
but that's generally continuous now. If I draw this away slightly, I should be there at the edge. You'd have to let it settle a bit more, try it a couple of more times. So Going, no, not continuous yet. So that's that's literally on the edge there now. Getting a continuous beep. So if I just mark that. So it'll stay continuous. Well, that must just be the edge there. And they're quite a mall. I think I'm pretty much on the if I draw it a bit to the left. So that's it. Well not too bad with this side. Well, that was a little bit out, but you know it's not too bad. So again it does take a little bit of um time but you can find out what you're looking for. So, again, we look at the water. When I talk about water, um, damp plaster, fresh plaster, if you need to fix into what the walls and the plaster is still wet, it can affect the way this thing works. So, with this same area, what I'm going to do with this cloth is just dampen it. Damp cloth here, just wet the surface. Set this on, calibrate it. It's not having any. Nothing. It always needs to be a dry surface. Another thing this is good at is finding live wires. So the deeper you set it, the better. Really good at that. When it comes to hard wall, one of these things might not work the same because the density of the wall, maybe moisture within the wall, but overall. It should pick up metal. Now, this doesn't necessarily define between metal or wood. It'll tell you if it's a live cable, but then beyond that, it won't necessarily state whether that is a gas pipe or an empty water pipe or a baton. Again, hard wall. 
cables running through the wall they should be protected so with this if I set this now calibrated there when I draw it across the wall it should pick the metal up there so it's possibly picked up the conduit there but it's not necessarily picked up the live if I put it straight to the block it's live so these things do act completely differently on something like a hard wall great for knowing if something's live or not which I'll show you something now and when I say good for checking the electrics you should be able to isolate a floor at the fuse box if not isolate a room so lights and sockets before you switch any fuses you can go round and just by holding this in your hand you can go round and check all the sockets all the switches if they're live you'll know switch them off come back and give them a test if there's no alarm you're okay so when it comes to identifying what material it is behind the plaster then that becomes more difficult so with the studding generally it's going to be spaced 18 inches apart repeated down the wall so that would be easy to measure and follow for a water pipe or possibly a gas pipe then again copper pipe it's not going to state whether it's gas or not not unless you know where it's running where it feeds so it's just a matter of avoiding certain things again plastic pipe with the water in it's not going to differentiate between a cable or the copper but you just have to be aware that something is sitting there